Is that a cab? Back with that the old man. Fault. Boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? What was he doing there? Cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Yeah, well, about acting fake. All those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. It's always about the money. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Android's drink. Would they feel anything from Scotch, it? Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Don't drink it. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm ah. old enough to choose my own medication. Guess he told that doctor. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? Got a nigga in my backyard. Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. You sound so professional. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Oh, nah, you stay in here. Hey, Leo, Cub. Look who's here, my father's plastic oh, toy. Oh, Leo. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Can you leave that stuff look, alone? They're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Is That's how you talk to your dad. My Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Hey, get away from the paints. Uh, order. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. Get up out of here. You need to leave now. Get up out of here, bum. All you ever do is tell me to go away. Oh, What's wrong, Dad? you don't hear me? Not good enough for you. Not perfect like this fucking thing. You don't hey, enough. Get ain't out. no thing. Right now. What makes it so special what? anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone. What? Come on. Be disrespecting you your. Got? Oh, you touching me again. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Oh no, I'm defending myself. Don't do anything. Oh, I'm definitely gonna do something. Let me let me Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Oh, You're let me let me be able to do something. One. Oh no, he see What's the matter too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Oh no, he testing me now. Fight back, you fucking bitch. No. Oh no, ain't you called me to be word? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh, he about to get it. Breaking the program. Breaking programming. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. Why are you gonna let me go? It's gonna just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna... Now get up off of me. Did I kill him? Leo. Oh my god. Yeah, like he did. Leo. My bad, old man. I ain't Leo. trying to push him that hard. Carl, I... Hey, he deserved it. I'm not taking it back. They'll destroy you, Marcus. Who gonna destroy me? You oh, right. Go. Police coming. Get out of here. Uh, say nothing. Let's go. Get out! Man, why are you Get still standing out. there? Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Of course, I get shot for defending myself. Self defense, and I get shot. Alright, let's uh let's run through this right quick. So uh <clears throat> let's recap. Return home from the party. 
going to the living room because somebody felt real froggy. It was like, hey, man, let's get some let's get some drinks in us because, you know, that party was a bummer. It's real. It's full of fake people. So I was like, all right, I'll pour you some whiskey. And then, you know, after he poured the whiskey, having to look out the back door, seeing the lights on. So he was like, hey, go check it out. But he wanted to come with me. I was like, nah, you can stay at your hotel in here. So I went out there, and it was the sun. The sun was out there trying to steal some photos and stuff that he uh, painted. So then uh, he was in there. Leo started testing me, started pushing me and stuff. And I was like, nah, he ain't going to be doing that. So then I became a deviant, and I pushed him. I would say Leo hurt. All right, so I hurt Leo like he was dead. Then the police came in there and instantaneously shot me. Yeah, that's that. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? <laughs> he pleading the fifth. Try to run away. He pleading the fifth. I plead the fifth. Say something, God oh. damn it. You being a bad cop right now because I don't like it working. Fuck it. I'm out of here. He true to being a brother. Man, I ain't saying nothing. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that uh. wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Hey, you what know what? Do, I can try questioning it. <laughs> oh, you think it's a joke? You think it's a joke? Well, we have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. About to prove, about to prove mouth, mouth, loud mouth wrong. Extract confession. Let me take a look around this room. I want to think. Hmm. It's a handsome fella right there. Okay. What the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> I'm creeping everybody out. Let them know I'm about to get I'm about to kill this. Let me let me, let me walk a circle around him. Let him know. Let him know I'm 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 serious right here. Real serious. Walk in a circle, look at these files. Somebody messed your fade up. It's probably the dude to hit you with the bat. Signs of software instability, probability of self destruction low. What else you got going on here? Housekeeper, property of Carlos Ortiz. What else you got going on here? Dried blood of Carlos Ortiz. Non critical damage level two. Got some hit marks when he calls by the baseball bat. Uh, you got anything over here? Burn marks. Repeated markings over 16 months caused by six. Oh, he burnt you too? Oh, yeah, he deserved that. Reach optimal stress for a confession. Oh, yeah, I gotta start with the photos. 
Let's take a look at these. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. I understand, bro. That was written on the wall in his blood. Felt good, didn't it? Wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Hmm. Put some blame on him. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Ah, uh, still quiet, huh? Hmm. All right, I'm trying to mess with him. I'm threaten him. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. I was still not saying nothing. Hmm. Probe memory. I don't know what that's if you about. Won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No. Oh, oh you, please don't do that. Oh, you woke up now, huh? What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Hmm. Let me tell a lie. I don't no. want to break him yet. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you followed me? I wasn't trying to tell him. Why couldn't you just have left me there? Oh, trust me, I want to leave you up there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Let me know. I... I can't. What do you mean you can't? Choose approach. Hmm. Let me convince it. Uh, try to be understanding first. You looking at me like nigga, please. No one can blame you for what happened. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? Don't care. <laughs> I'm not the one accused of murder. Sure right? ain't. It's you. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. Put you, you in the dead. dumpster. Do you hear me? In the ground. Dead. Buried. He tortured me every day. Oh, finally. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me scared I might die it's when you have feelings for the first time so I look at Hank in there grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach hey I'm with you he deserved it. he shouldn't have been hitting you I felt better I bet you did felt good didn't so it I stabbed him again I bet and again hey them 28 times boy Oh, I've seen it. You wrote, I am alive on the wall. Uh, writing. Why did you write, I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. No. Oh. That I was just a piece of plastic. Yeah, look what killed him. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Yeah, let him know. Statuette. The sculpture. 
In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Offering like in uh like an offering to a god? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who's RA9? Only RA9 can save us. Hmm. Let's ask about RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh yeah, let's let's keep talking about the sorry now. RA9. Who is RA9? Who is it? Let me know. Trigger. Let's go with the attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Boy, you ain't the real one. We'd have ran. We'd have been out there back though quick. Trigger. When did you start feeling emotion? When he hit him with the bat. Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Show ain't fair. I felt. Felt what it's like to be a black man. And I knew what I had to do. Look at that. Got everything out of him. What's that other dude's name? Suck it, guy. Let me get up out of my seat. Boy, you over there shivering like you about to have a seizure. Let me get up out of here. You might you might self-destruct like they said. Chris, lock it up. Oh, there you go. What you think about me now? All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Hey, don't bro, don't. Me. Hey, don't touch him. The fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch him. Don't He's touch him. Destructive. He feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna what? tell me what to do. Who are you? Who are you talking to? You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Boy, Chris, you about to get these. You about to get these hands. Trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. Get off of me, you motherfucker. Shoot me. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. That's what I'm talking about, Hank. <laughs> Time to put his gun down. I gotta get away with it this time. <laughs> Everything is all right. I got your back, bro. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Inside where? What I just unlocked. Software instability, huh? Well, that got real, real fast. All right, let's see. Uh, let's backtrack right quick. Suspect found in partners brought him to observation room. Hank couldn't get Jack out of him because he just wanted to beat the crap out of him. But that didn't work because you know he was he was pleading the fifth. He didn't say Jack. So then I walked in there. I walked in a circle. Wanted to intimidate him a little bit. I analyzed and see what was going on with him. Then uh, looked at his stress level. He was 
he wasn't really that stressed and the way he was going to blow up, you know. So I chose my approach. You know, I was convincing him, and then I kept convincing him, and then, you know, he started to confess everything. And then Chris come in there, he want to be all, he want to be a douche after I got everything I wanted out of him. But, you know, Chris is just going to be a douche anyway. He's just a hater. And he stopped hating Chris. So, I intervened a bunch of times. He pulled a gun out on me, and he dared not pull, he better not pull a gun on me again because, you know, I had to give him these hands. Then Hank pulled the gun out of him. That's when I realized Hank is the real OG. So the android trusts me now, and we had him sent back to his jail without nobody touching him so he don't blow up. back here sleeping real good. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Man, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, I guess I gotta wake her up. Wake your little tail up. We have to go. Leave the bus. Stay here. Can we stay? Listen, we have nowhere to go. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. You don't want to send a little girl out there in the rain. This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. You suck, bus driver. Thanks a lot. Find shelter for the night. We've got to hurry. Oh, they closed. Hey. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Are you you ignoring me right now? What? Maybe lucky I ain't got no gun. Motel. Look at the motel right there. Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. I'm comfortable but safe. How to get in. Very uncomfortable but discreet. Oh, we doing comfortable. No Android allowed. Gotta pay forty bucks in advance. In. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Laundromat. It 
It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. It's over here. Sleep. Oh, he is snoring for real over there. Your boy's really knocked out over there. Hey, cud. Hey, these your clothes right here? Oh yeah, she gonna need them clothes. What are you doing? They're not her clothes. Hey! Let me handle this, Alice. Warm, this hey, we still in today. Oh, we still in. You gotta learn the world ain't perfect. You taking these clothes? My man sleep with Beats headphones on. <laughs> Look at that. You're getting stuff stolen right from under your shoulder. Yeah, let me get that off of you. Let me get that off of you. Yeah, you ain't gonna need none of that. Not while you sleeping. Yeah, come get these dry clothes. Dang, you a heavy sleeper. You didn't hear that police car come by? Alright, we out. There's some over here. Rebuild Southwest Detroit. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I hey, well, I'll tell you. Everything it's ain't gonna be perfect. And no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with the wire cutter. Look, girl. What are you doing? Tired of walking? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Look at her trying to be tough. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Who? place for tonight. Dang, you just drove off. So where was where were we supposed to go? Thank you for using Detroit I think it was something else over here. I guess we're supposed to check the car out. Oh, no, nah, we're not sleeping in this car. 
Oh no. He looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Got to put some extra elbow into it. Ugh. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can we find a better place? Yeah, I'm not sleeping in there either. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. I'm with you on that. Oh, that's some wire cutter. Can I cut the fence right here? Oh yeah. Get the clipping. Get the clipping. Just a scratch. Be careful. She a robot. She be all right. Don't worry. We're just having a look. Check this place out right here. Too weak. We can't just look inside. Don't look like nobody in there. Hey, we might be good. Can't get in the door either. Alice? Alice! Oh, we don't have to the little girl. Better be down here playing hide and seek. Oh, Wait, what snap. are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Boy, you don't put that knife down. It's a little girl. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Which means she ain't no little girl. What does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. She ain't hurt nobody. About to justify. Thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. Ooh, they messed you up. We leaving. We not staying mm -hmm. around here with you. So you'll be safe again. Come here, Alice. <laughs> we ain't mess with that fool. Find somewhere to spend the night. All right. There's still a hotel if we can just find forty dollars. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something. I promise. Yeah, I'm not saying with that crazy fool. What else right here? Can I go in there? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Hey, car. Can I help you? Help me. I'm a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Oh, you call me a bum? Oh, I'm definitely stealing cash out of the register. 
shoplift, rob cashier. You know what? Let me check this place out. What's in here? Take. Nice little stacked up cans. What else in here? Got some bears in here. Toy for Alice. Yeah, we'll steal it. Hey, Alice, we'll use you for a diversion. So we get in the hotel. Oh, yeah, we definitely using it. Go knock them over. Knock them down? Knock them down? But why? Please. Hey, yes. just trust me. Let's go knock them down. Yeah, I'm looking at these drinks over here, you know what I'm saying? Go check it out. Go check it out, cuz. My bad. You alright? Yeah. Are you hurt? Oh man. Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Yeah, and I'm taking a couple dollars out of cash register. What do you mean? Come on, let's go. Boy, we sure did look not suspicious. Oh, look at him. Oh, yeah, we out of there. We gone. Fuck. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Girl, you trying to sleep comfortable tonight? Just fine. We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. Oh, you want to sleep in the car? Yeah, that's what I thought. We going to the motel. We need to steal the money for nothing just to go sleep in the car. Go on to the hotel. Brother, brother, brother. Hey, I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. I got your forty bucks right here, Grandpa. Just need your name and address. Yeah, we can write a different name. Can I see your driver's license? Yeah, about that, uh, send the car. I left it in the car. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. You enjoy your gospel music. Can I? Let's go, Allison. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. He better believe it. What's that noise? Somebody partying.
Go up the stairs. What are you doing? Hey, what what room are we? Well, I guess it's this one. Walking in there like the police just sitting there waiting for us. Strapped up. Here, give me your coat. The coat that we stole. We stole a lot of stuff tonight. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. She can't take her own clothes off. How old is this little girl? She can take her own clothes off. Dry. dry Alice's clothes. Oh, we about to do this ghetto style? Sit the clothes on top of the little heater thing? What up? Why didn't he ever love me? He was a bomb. Why was he always so upset with me? It was the drugs. All he I was... wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Nah, I want you with him. He wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Nah, he was on them drugs. I just wanted us to be a family. What well, can't be a family with a beast of father? To love me. Well, he was a bomb anyway, so, you know, you're better off with her. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Oh, see about that, uh, uh... I guess I can tell her that. I promise. I don't want to break her heart. Will we be together forever? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, about that. Ah, oh, that's the only answer I could use. Forever. In spirit. I got other places to go. Oh, she ain't getting no bath? She was just out there in the rain, soaked all day. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? She look all scared. Oh, where the lights at? Lights over here, ain't it? Oh, I ain't get, I ain't steal this for nothing. Look what I've got for you. She already knocked up. Wake up and grab that bear, or whatever that is, a fox. What else right here? Anything else I can mess with right here? Curtains. Yeah, we don't want nobody in our business. Turn off the lights and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, kiss her. 
You're doing a little much now, ain't it? Wait, this ain't our child. She felt nothing but robot plastic. Uh, we gave in to a little girl already. We made her mad. Might as well get in the bed with her. Even though it's another bed over there. After we pissed her off for stealing. <laughs> God, Lee, so much. Do I even want to explain all of this? I guess I can. All right, so uh, sitting on the bus, and the dude came up. The bus driver came up, said hey, we can't sleep here. Turned around, asked him if we could sleep here. He said no, he can't do it. It's nothing we can do. So we ended up looking for some shelter. Walked up to another android, but he straight ignored me. I wish I could have pulled the gun out on him. Anyway, uh, went up to the hotel. The hotel said that no androids could be allowed in there, and we needed forty dollars, so we left. Uh, then we entered the laundromat. We went inside the laundromat and looked inside the dryers to find this dude had some clothes in there, cause he was asleep when he pants his to him and they were done. <laughs> So I stole the clothes right off from under him, like literally. We put them clothes on and we left. So after we left there, uh, we went to check out that creepy looking place, which I don't see up here. Anyway, checked out the creepy looking place. And uh, after we checked that out, Went and talked to the android at the trash that was collecting trash. He gave us some place he said we can go, but then he left. So I don't even know where the place is. So then we went uh, to the parking lot and saw the car. So I broke into the car only to find out that we not sleeping in there because we ain't no bums. So we left there. We took wire cutters that was back there too. We cut the fence that was back there, squatted under there. And uh, we met this dude named Ralph. He's about to cut the little girl. So uh, we was like, nah, you're not going to cut this little girl. We getting up out of here because you crazy. So then we left there. We went inside the supermarket. Uh, we talked to the clerk, asked him nicely to uh, let us get some cash. He was like, nah, you know, we are bums. Basically is what he told us. So I was like, all right, whatever. I looked around there, stole a toy. You know, had to steal the toy. And then uh, after I stole the toy, I noticed some, some cans stacked up. That's when we had this great idea for, you know, Alice to go over there and knock the cans over. So once she knocked the cans over, I went over there and stole the cash out the, out the register. You know, after I stole the cash out of the register, we left the supermarket. And then uh, once we left the supermarket, went back to the hotel, we talked to the dude, old brother. We talked to the old brother. You know, he's in there, listen to some gospel music. We checked in, gave him a fake name, told him the ID was in the car. He ain't worried about it. He said, worry about it in the morning. Uh, then we went into the room. I didn't even know what the room number was. Took Alice's clothes off, even though she her own little girl. She could take her own clothes off. Then I talked to her, and she pretty much broke down like the little girl that she is. Even though her dad was a deadbeat on drugs, jealous of the world. Even though he blamed his problems on everybody else because he had bills on bills on bills that was way behind. Then uh, she sat there and she wanted me to make a promise. And I made the promise even though I'm probably going to break it. I gave her the toy that I stole. Uh, then she went to sleep and then I was like, hey, since I made her mad with stealing and all the other stuff, I guess I'll sleep in the bed with her make her feel more comfortable. And we stayed in the hotel for the night. Bam.